Hi guys, I hope everything is okay. Besides being an avid student of uh, rock, blues, guitar, and music, pop music, and blues guitar, I am a student. Uh, I like very much study jazz guitar. Uh, and especially what is called European jazz guitar usually and is connotated as uh, jazz manouche or gypsy jazz in certain on certain degree because Django Reinhardt a uh, very important phenomenal guitarist from France was of uh, Sinto Gypsy ethnic background, but anyway, is uh, it is just jazz, jazz played with uh, a lot of string instruments, and that's it. Jazz it evolved from uh, ballroom jazz to either bebop and then kept on progressing with newer musicians uh, who adopted different styles of expression but as always you know the results are not just uh, linked directly with your technical capabilities but they are linked with your ability to express emotions and to create beautiful lines that's all you need okay so i i try to do this exercise i again use chat gpt and i ask chat gpt uh, what was the most important thing i should start to study uh, to learn gypsy jazz or jazz manouche and I got an answer that was clearly not so far away from the, what you could get as an answer from a, a living teacher uh, and a professional teacher got some steps to learn this type of music okay so first the, the rhythm is uh, usually all concentrated on the rhythm guitar and the bass and it is uh, generated by the star by a style that is called la pompe i give a very uh, easy example that just like a minor blues is something like could be an example of a minor blues with a play with uh, the style of La Pomme. Uh, if you consider it for example a standard like Call of Me that is based on uh, E, sorry C, A7 uh, would be like this, like playing on a jazz ensemble.
Yeah, some chords that are standard chords, some other chords have been conceived by the wonderful mind of Django Reynard because Django lost was Django is one of the greatest, surely greatest guitarists who ever lived on this planet along with uh, the ranks of uh, Segovia, Paganini, uh, and all the modern players like Hendrix, Van Halen, uh, Jimmy Page, all these guys that really contributed a lot to the development of guitars and instruments. So he is one of the guitarists in the Holy Trinity. If you have a Holy Trinity of guitar music, you will surely have Django, you will have Jimi Hendrix, and you will have perhaps uh, a Segovia because we don't have a live rendition of uh, Paganini, of a classical music improviser. Anyway, you can disagree about this statement, but in my opinion it's completely true. To learn this style there are some simple chords like the major, the C major, like you know, or G major, or it could be a B major, major 7, A major 7, or a D major 7, or uh, what could be a e, ma e major 7 triad, and all the minor, minor, D minor, or D minor, or standard chords then you have a little bit more complicated chords like this this is a minor seventh e. this will be a a minor chord a minor seventh a minor six then you have all the alterations that are used in Jazz like the diminished, half diminished, and then surely the ninth and the six ninth, like the D six ninth is a chord that is used either in blues, la, or you will have the major six ninth, like this is a B. check if there is something cool to see yeah you will have the seven shot nine like the Hendrix chord you have your uh, seven flat nine rise, rise uh, fifth like this you will have your seven flat five like uh, something like I think like this could be a good starting point or a seventh flat but five like this you will have a minor seven plus five this is this is just a, you know the sound that your minor 7 flat 5 here like if you want to play an E it's pretty easy you want this. then you will have the little bit more difficult chords like the G6 9 
This is, this is not so easy to play because you have to press this here, this note at the same time and then this too. Like if you play Jungology, that is the song that goes. I think you know the theme is uh, something like... this 6-9 chord is really important or the major 13th that is always used in either moves when you play a 1 or 5 or the major 11 these are standard chords or I don't know play it with this will be this way in A. So you have to start to test your chords and try it. There's nothing of crazy, you can learn it. Then there is a little bit more to learn that it is a starting point to play this genre and the subject pages. So you will start for example with the Major arpeggio, major, sorry, oh, this was a very bad mistake, I'm really sorry, a major, I'm stupid, tonight I'm really stupid, I'm sorry, a major, Arpeggio in G or a minor arpeggio in G. Those are very important for a minor arpeggio. Those are very important or a major. could be decent to let you understand what kind of difficulties you can find you will have to learn the major ninth arpeggio like if you want to play major minor A and these are all techniques used uh, in gypsy jazz and gypsy jazz surely there's a uh, its own vocabulary vocabulary sorry it uses a lot of uh, what is called the diminished diminished scale. Sorry. Or what you can see as a
there are some techniques like the scales that are typical of gypsy jazz use of the octaves yes really funny and I think it is really uh, a style that, that can help you a lot to develop as a musician so if you have time just use a classical guitar you don't need to buy one of these guitars I've been lucky I had the opportunity to have a Lucia making this guitar for me but you don't need it you, you can use a classical guitar and you have a lot to learn, the songs are really beautiful, there are some blues there are some swings no, I, I told you before, there are some um, vaults, there are some Bossa Nova and Latin music, Latin, re Latin rhythm. So, my suggestion is embark yourself in the study of the music of Django Reinhardt, embark yourself in the study of the music of the tradition of European jazz, and then uh, mix it with your blues knowledge, with your whatever pop heavy metal knowledge and build your solid basis of understanding of music thank you very much guys this were the suggestion gave to me from chat gpt about learning just manush just gave six ninth chord ninth chord uh triads are pages that's it I wish you will have a wonderful week and please subscribe to the channel and follow me. You will see, we'll get a lot from this channel. Thank you very much. Bye.